Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! Yes, by the power of Grayskull, we're going to be getting another He-Man series. And this one is called He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Revelations. And it's going to pick up where it left off in the 80s. And I got all the scoop and we're going to jump into it. But first, on this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of YouTube sexy as hell. Because I'm working on skilling my craft, bringing you guys a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Also, if you're new to my channel and you want to explore all the things I cover on my channel, just go to my YouTube homepage playlist. A video like this would definitely be under comments. So at PowerCon, it was announced that Kevin Smith is going to be executive producer on the Netflix new version of He-Man. And they're calling this thing Masters of the Universe Revelations. They're telling us that this is not going to be some kind of a new story. It's just going to pick up where the great 80s cartoon left off. And for me, I'm excited because that was one of my favorite and the first cartoon I ever seen in my life. I followed the movies. I followed each iteration of He-Man they've done since the 80s. I followed She-Ra, um, and I've been keeping up with the news of what they're doing with He-Man, and I've been a little frustrated because to me, this story, this comic, is one of the most iconic that they've ever done. It could be just as big as what we have seen the Marvel franchises be if it's done right. So with this cartoon, other producers are going to be Eric Carusco, who did Supergirl, Tim Sheridan, who did Reign of Superman, Daya Mishera, Magic Gathering, and Mark Bernadan of Alphas. And also you've got the VP of Mattel, Rob Davis, and author of He-Man, Eternity War, assuming the roles of executive producer. And the animation is going to be done, get this, by Powerhouse, who also did Netflix's Castlevania, which I love that Castlevania story Netflix did. I love the animation. But Netflix has also done um, Voltron, which was another one of the 80s great cartoons. And that animation was good as well. But Netflix also did She-Ra, but that wasn't done by this animation house. That was more of a DreamWorks thing. And I didn't like that She-Ra. I'm going to just be honest about it. That She-Ra wasn't all that great to me. Um, I felt like they just kind of went a little too silly with it. But I'm sure with Kevin Smith, this is going to have more of a grown adult theme, kind of like Castlevania did. And I have faith in him and I can't wait to see it. Now, for those of you that are wondering, is this going to be connected to the movie universe? No, it's not. They're saying this is not going to be connected to the movie universe for the movie that's supposed to be coming out in March 2021. Um, it's not connected. Uh, where, you know, Noah Centino is going to be playing Prince Adam and He-Man. I have my own theories about how you can make the Masters of the Universe movie franchise better. And I think something that they need to try to do with this being the Me Too era, why not start out with the background of the great villains because he man masters of the universe has some great villains you've got the snake men you've got hordak you've got skeletor and typically hordak team seems to prevail over those three villains and you could do a backstory where she-ra is fighting hordak and she's getting her butt kicked maybe hordak teams up with the snake men and they are just destroying She-Ra and the Rebels, right? And you can have this movie where the villain wins, Hordak and whoever he teams up with are able to defeat She-Ra and the movie's about to go off. Day I held him off my sword and said, for the honor of Grayskull. And then you can drop to a clip where you see the sorceress summoning He-Man sword, and maybe you can have a clip of He-Man, and that can be kind of a rebooting of the franchise, and you get the Me Too crowd involved, you get mystery and magic involved about what's going on with He-Man, and that can be another way to reboot 
the franchise, you show He-Man coming in to be in the next movie to help his sister She-Ra, who's for some reason had the best damn sword in the world. I mean, her sword would turn from uh, the sword to a lasso, a sword to a helmet. Hell, I've seen her sword freeze over hell. Sword to helmet. That's better. I mean, her sword was doing everything. And you can have this powerful character get defeated by two villains who normally fight each other but came together to defeat her, and you can introduce He-Man, then you can introduce Skeletor into all that. And if I had $300 million, me and my boy James Book could do some great things. But I wanna know what you guys think about the 80s cartoon coming back to Netflix, Kevin Smith running it, and how do you feel about the He-Man franchise on the big screen? I think they could do so much. We just got to get someone in to make it happen. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. If you made it this far in my video, you're obviously a big supporter of this channel. Consider donating to my Patreon. Just a dollar, two dollars, whatever you can do to help me as a creator continue to bring this content. Continue to follow on stories you like. And if you become a Patreon supporter and you have things you want me to do via video, I'll make sure from your messages I'll get them up here first. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you. <laughs>